Here, Sala, these are for you. Thank you, Johnny. This must have cost you a fortune. Here, Isana, these are for you. <laughs> for her, but he's a clever smith, and she's going to hang on to him come hell and high water. So she's with Tweety now? Yes, Maria Tweety. That's not so bad. You know you have to marry someone whose last name goes with your first. For instance, if my name was Drew, I couldn't help marry a man named Barb, or if my name happens to be Tobacco, I couldn't marry a man named Pouch or Pipe or... Nobody was ever named Tobacco. You don't know if a southern merchant made a lot of money on tobacco. I think he might name his daughter Tobacco. You make money on codfish around here, and I never heard anyone calling this girl codfish. You're just being silly, you know. But I like to be silly. I like to play things out. For instance, I couldn't marry a man called... Anybody called Priscilla can marry anybody. No, they can't. For instance, I couldn't marry Rab. Nobody asked you to. I know, but a girl has to think about things like that. Almost anything can happen to a girl. Suddenly, and uh, and she has to think ahead, and she'll know which way to jump. Rab wouldn't marry you. He's too, too. Wonderful. That's what you mean. Of course not. But he's not like any other boy I ever knew. I know that. But when you get to really know him, he doesn't seem so wonderful. I mean, he's just as wonderful, but a whole lot nicer. Have you? How do you get to know him? so well. Why, he comes here and takes me walking and buys me sweets. Priscilla Silsby is poor, but Silla Silsby is worse. But Priscilla Tremaine is a fine name. She will not. Miss Lavinia has gone down to Handcuff's Wharf to ask my mother for permission, but my mother will not let her go, just as though she was a kitten. Sana is going with me. Your mother, Silla, has human kittens. Miss Lavinia, you can't. Can't? Your mother signed the paper. And you are a wicked girl, trying to stand in the way of your sister's good fortune. Isana, don't go away from me. Isana, if you go to London, I may never see you again. Isana, don't leave me. The Lexington men. How many died at the grain yesterday? Eight. Do you know their names? Let them never be forgot. Jonathan Harrington and Caleb too. Robert Monroe, Jonas Parker, Samuel Headley, Isaac Muzzy, Nathaniel Wingman, and John Brown. So Rad didn't die? Who is this Rad you speak of? Never mind. Thank you for wellness. To our next meeting. Rab, did you get hurt? Yes, but it's nothing. What do you mean that is something? You're bleeding. Here, shake my musket. Are you sure? Yes, I know I got to use it. They shot first. Okay then. Rad, that is something.